does this debate mean to the to Manchester? Well, the very fact that it's here uh, is a great compliment to us. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think that this debate means a lot to the whole of the but um, from my point of view, as a, obviously a Manchester businessman, then anything that focuses interest on us, especially at this level, is very, very complimentary to Manchester. And people in Manchester are well known for being a culturally independent. You're quite a mm -hmm. tough crowd in lots of ways. How do you think the city will view the debate tonight? I, you know, the funny thing is, is I don't think a lot of people know that it's happening here. They probably only found out today, like I did. I only found out a couple of days ago that the debate was here. So, but no, I mean, I think the thing is, is that we all know how the problems the country's on, and they they have been uppermost in everyone's minds. I don't think it can be possibly a person in England that hasn't suffered from the credit crunch and hasn't, you know, been unable to ignore the expenses crisis, all the things like that. So there is a great focus on this election. And what do you think the people of Manchester will be looking out for? What really gets gets on the kind of people's nerves here in terms of you know you know putting stuff on or showing off or whatever? What what will annoy them? Manchester's used to very big characters who can carry themselves very well. You know, if you look at Tony Wilson, Liam Gallagher, Mick Hucknall, you know, we, we are based on celebrities that are very good at portraying themselves personally. And I think that this is a new foray for a Prime Minister to be able to push himself and project himself personally is going to be difficult. And I think there'll be a lot of pressure. And I think people will be looking for signs that maybe, in a funny way, don't affect the political outcome. But, you know, personally, they are focusing in on something. And in, it, it has to be said, it might, it might seem a little bit of a smoke screen, really, to take your mind off what you should be concentrating on and looking at people too, too much. I think. It's, it's a difficult one. What's your advice to the seasoned performer to so three <laughs> men as they get up there today? Uh, well, I've usually got a guitar to hide behind when I perform, so uh, obviously they won't have that luxury. But, no, I mean, you know, the thing is you have to be yourself. And uh, I think anything in life about achieving something and doing it well is believing in yourself. And you, you, I think you'll find out who believes in themselves. And I think it's a wonderful thing to portray yourself as a person and have that connection. But it is very, very stressful and a lot of pressure. I don't envy them so to be honest. Just finally, I hear that you had a little run in, run up against Hazel Blears. Tell me about that. <laughs> uh, well, it was an interesting one. The good people of Salford, when Hazel unfortunately hit her little expenses crisis, um, put me forward as uh, one of the candidates to take over, which was immensely flattering. But I think I'm enjoying dancing about on stage a little too much. I didn't actually win, actually. Christopher Eccleston won, and I was second, but it was a great compliment indeed. So, but no, I'm believing it to the experts, I think. Thank you.